Well, we'll call this pooper video number two, shall we? Uh, as you can see, I've got some wheel adapters on. Uh, problem is, those wheel nuts that came off the Supra don't fit the MG wheel, so I'm uh, sort of stuck there as well. You can see it's no move for quite a while. I'll get a clean up at some point, but no right now. I was meeting the pad. Check that out. Fucking fat mounts of meat on there. Suspension looks not right now. A little bit of rust in the arch, but it's not too bad. Bit bad bit just there, but I reckon that'll clean up. Don't think I'll have to weld in there yet, which is nice. Everything's rusty, but it doesn't look like weak rusty. Amazingly, it took a jacking. I'm amazed as everybody else. Crunch, crunched a little bit, unsurprisingly, but it's not too bad. Uh, I'll probably we have to pull it back out again at some point, but passing MOT, that's all I fucking care about. But aye, this bad boy right here. I'm gonna have to get some different wheel nuts so I can fit wheels onto it. But hey, we're making progress, aren't we? Making fucking progress. It's a bit bright out there. I've still got a car cover on the most to get the rain out because it is raining. But yeah, no much to report on really. Just felt like I should do some sort of update every time I do something to it. That's about it really. Right, so adding on to that last wee bit, in fact, we'll just make this the same video, shall we? We'll do a wee bit of editing. Basically, the problem is, let's not do that. Uh, that wheel, the centre board on that wheel, uh, I'm putting the spare tyre on because it holds air. Should bring it up a wee bit and hopefully make it a little less prone to being nailed. Completely fucking flat. That tyre back there holds air sometimes, not for very long, but it means I can at least roll the car a bit easier when I've got three tyres with air in them. Yeah, this one's still got the centre cap as well, it's a very, very nice centre cap. But, ah, the centre bore, which I would like to show you here. See that centre bore there? This bit. It's way, way bigger than the centre bore on that one. Like, fucking massive. It's probably the, the aftermarket standard, the 73 or whatever it is. It's way bigger than it's got any right to be. Which means I can't run those MG wheels, which is annoying. What I'll do instead is get on Facebook Marketplace, find the cheapest shit, the cheapest shittiest set of tyres I can, 4x100 aftermarket, Dzent, you know, Sparkle, I don't give a fuck, fake Sparkle will be fine in fact. Fake Sparkle will be the tits, I've got a set of Sparkle wheels sat at the house, about 17s, but something like that, you know, just something like a big fuck off centre of diameter, and then I've got a big fuck off centre of diameter, I can then run any fucking wheels I want, because well, basically, if it's into that, it's fucking massive, then you don't have to worry about any of that shit about it no fitting. It's got more thread on than I thought it did. It's pretty hard to for what we're handed, but fuck it, I need to get those views, bro. Remember to like and subscribe. Uh, if we get to, what do we call it? Let's go something absolutely ridiculous I couldn't possibly get in a million years. Let's say a thousand likes. You know. Something only PewDiePie I could possibly get. I may actually put this car back on the road. I know, as ridiculous as that seems, that's why I'm setting this massive subscriber goal. Subscriber goal? Hey, if I get 50 subscribers, I'll put this car back on the road. Nah, I didn't get a fuck about subscribers. Genuinely don't care in the slightest. You know, fucking tighten up your wank stain. There we go. Man, these have got a lot of thread on them. It's part of the problem as well is uh, these wheel nuts. Uh, I thought they fit, I mean they look a bit right, the, what do you call them, the, the angle is wrong on them. There we go. I am quite tight enough, I just put that around anyway. It's only remind me to um, tighten these up again and move the car finally, because I should have a timing belt kit. It was referred to UK Post this morning. God, this is going to hurt. Uh, but, I might have to do fucking customs on it. Nice and slowly. Nice and slow. Nice and slow, don't fucking drop the car. Just slowly, 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 slowly. See that wheel still off the ground? Can you, can you hear that? A slight buzz, the last wee bit of air comes into it. Yeah, it does hold there, but not for very long. So we'll find out how badly settled it is in the front as well here, actually. on the ground and uh, oh that's a good fit man oh man that looks fucking cool that's a good look man why does it have to look like that in the front and have to look like that in the back i need to get that door on as well jim's no in today it's all locked up can't put a door on it that's what part of my plan today 
but I can't do that either. But you can see here on the thing, it's a uh, centre board's fucking huge, the size of your mum's tits. I don't know, my mum's tits might be quite small. But point is, this centre board here has to be about this size, and it obviously is, isn't it? And I don't fancy take paying a fortune of this wheel uh, board out. You know, because how this wheel board out, then I'm going to end up being one of the wankers that spends a fortune on stock wheels. And honestly, these ain't great, I got them for free. Well, not for free, I paid £200 for the fucking car they came on and the car's in the scrap yard um, Not tomorrow, not the day after, but the day after that, Sunday Allegedly, allegedly, but the guy won't fucking show up Fucking cowboys are in here, a lot of them uh, We'll fucking segue this into an MG review as well, shall we, as I tidy up This is my 1990, it may as well be a 1990 fucking fuck, I don't know why I'm saying that It's a 2004 Quite a late 2004, a very very late MG Rover in general. MG ZR. It's a 2 litre diesel, a straight through exhaust. It's actually got a back box on it that looks like a back box. It's not, it's a resonator. It's uh, got a wee boot, it's got all my important stuff in there. Uh, that's an electrical toolbox, Han piece Halpers kit, impact. There's not my grinder down there, but I'm not, it's not in there now. Spare oil because it leaks oil. And that's a shitty stick welder. I've used it once, it's basically useless. I've got a strut bar to across the back there, I'm not fitted here, it catches on this wee bit of plastic. Um, I fucking love it, great, uh, you can see there's some LED bulbs in there as well for Maximum Boy Racer See at night, these wee spotlights, they light up perfect, they look amazing I wish they all fucking did that But I uh, love that wee more. Do a proper walk around as I tidy up <coughs> But um, we've got Dzent, I've no idea what model of Dzent are always in the back But Dzents are quite smart, I got the AMG badges off eBay for like 6 quid Well worth it uh, when I bought this, it was spares and repairs. Half the shit was missing. I fixed quite a lot off as I went. Uh, for one, it had um, the light there. Made it very difficult to do anything. In Scotland, it gets dark at one in the afternoon. First thing I did was uh, I swiped a, 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 a brake light out of it. Slapped it straight in there. Put LEDs in the bad boy. I had LEDs lying with my vector, but the vector didn't like it. No, this is my this is my tool kit. You'll see. So we a couple of wee bits missing with it, because you can how it goes. Yeah, I always bits out of fucking kits like this. Uh, I don't know where that is, a 17mm, but I don't know where that is. Actually no, that's my mum's feet somewhere, or then... Look at that changing. Changing the door check strut. You can how the door comes forward. Oh, I'll show you in this shin. Like, ignore that tyre. Right, you can how the door's like that. Right, doors like that, you open it up and you go, Waham! And it stops. Mum's car doesn't do that, because uh, that wee door stretch strap down there broke. Changing that, lost my 11mm socket, because feet use 11 mils because they're fucking arseholes. But I... Oh, not that, that's, that's what, not went all at all. That's went very poorly. God damn it. Can, just became ASMR toolbox sorting. One thing I can't stand is a fucking messy toolbox. Does my nothing. You'd think so, with me being such a fucking, like, cunt. Uh, it would be fine, but it's no. A messy toolbox is a messy mind, you know that push. I've actually felt for that. That's disgusting, isn't it? Me falling for something. That's uh, 7.30 seconds. Why do they even have Imperial stuff? How often am I going to use Imperial stuff? Not very, I imagine. But again, I do hold an old Supra that's fucking 4x. Four it's 4x4.5 four four inch wheel space, and I imagine some of this stuff's Imperial anyway, with uh, uh, so 9.30 seconds goes there. Which makes me that, and 11.30 seconds, yeah. That one now. Yeah, I think we're good. Careful, careful. Right, once you once it's shut, it does come loose, but it only comes with a wee bit. Highly recommend these half of boxes. They're genuinely fantastic. Genuinely. Right. Yeah, they come loose a wee bit there, but that's probably like a 10 mil coming loose. I don't really care. I'll pick it by the girl. Main thing is it's tidy if I put it away. Doesn't really matter. Oh, that's that fucking still look like. Probably that it isn't too bad. That's okay, it took a jacking without massive damage. Did take a, did crush a wee touch, but it's not bad. Yeah, the cells are not nicking, all right, nicking this. I'm generally surprised how good the cells are. I think you've yeah, been sat in a field. I don't say sat in a field, I don't say sat in a field. Someone sat in some guy's drive for 10 years. I'm just gonna, yeah, well, let's go to the back, well. Whoop. Yeah, I think you fucking sat in a guy's yard for 10 years and uh, fuck it something, but no, it's actually all right, Nick. I mean, it looks terrible. I won't lie, it is an awful neck like we're in the back end, especially we're in the back end, it's basically fucking dead. And I'll have to cut most of it out and rebuild it to the ground up. But oh no, that isn't good neck. 
Now, apart from the crippling MOT failing and rust and the structural damage and the fact there's no moved in 10 years, and uh, the fact I have to get parts for Australia, and the fact no one really cares about the 60 Series Supra. It's just me, basically. Just me. Nobody else. It's kind of a shame because I think it's quite a good car myself. It's pretty. It's a really pretty car. But I can't get myself uh, get caught up in that as my knife. Best not leave that lying around. Need that for opening packages. Yeah, all there's much shape for eBay as I do. Need a good knife. This is sort of turned from Super Vlog to something like that. Oh, my dad. I uh, best go. He won't uh, appreciate me um, recording them. I'll probably start this off later, maybe make three videos, fuck knows. I'll see you later guys.